So now I will explain you how you can utilize the option scanner facility available in the smart finance all-in-one tool and same features are being given in the Android app also. Same process you need to follow for the Android app. So Android app also having option intraday, positional, arbitrates, option scanner, stock scanner. So the same process you need to follow in the Android app. So here we'll be learning now how we can utilize this option scanner. And this option scanner facility what we have given, the objective of this particular interface is, it will simplify your process of trading. So as I have mentioned earlier in, in the intraday and the positional section. So the major challenge on trader face is that how to identify a proper strike for the trade and whether to trade in the call option or put option. So and where to buy and sell all those are the challenges what trader used to face. So this tool or this interface simplify your process for identifying a correct strike and identifying whether to trade in the call and put option and it gives you multiple options available. So in one screen itself so that you can get the best benefit of this particular market movement. So here what I am going to do I will just select the expiry and I will be loading the data. Once I will load the data we have put specific conditions here. So if you just look into these conditions we have a condition called greater than equal to less than equal to between these three conditions we have given and it has specific parameters also. So call to buy in uptrend, call to sell in downtrend, puts to buy in downtrend, puts to sell in the uptrend. So the most common colloquial language used by the traders is being written here. And strikes between the buy entry and the targets, strikes between the sell entry and targets. So all these things is being given here. So once and here also it is being best weekly calls to buy, best weekly calls to sell in the downtrend. So this is the things is being given to you. So once you will be selecting any one of this option, so you will be the condition and its parameter will be get activated. So I am just going to, I have already load, loaded the data, I will be just analyzing this thing. Once I will analyze, I will be getting that currently the price is, it is for the September month I have taken and it is uh, 9874 level, the Nifty future is trading. And it is telling that buy entry is here, target till target 7, this is the things and sell entry here and till target 7, these are the things, these are the targets. All tradable call options and put options, all tradable call options and put options, they are IVs and what is the premiums? the trading and all call options, put options, details you are getting here. And certain strikes which is very deep in the money having very less time value in it, you will be getting some IVs which is irrational or which is way above the tradable range. So you have to ignore that 650, 700. So these strikes is having, it is throwing the higher IV that means that uh, the options what it is trading here, it is having a very less time help and currently it is difficult to calculate your cycles. So whenever you are finding out the premium and buy entry prices are too far, then you need to just ignore those strikes because it is not filtered. Only thing is that we have done based on whatever the tradable strikes are there, everything we have taken at a time. So now we will be just doing the filtration. So I will be just going for a call option part. And I just want the call options which is greater than the last trade price, means 9874. So this is the 9874. Above 9874, what are the strikes are trading now? So currently I am at 9874 Nifty. So all call options above this particular last trade price, I got it. So that means all out of money options I have filtered it here. Suppose if I want all tradable options less than the 9875. So I will be just getting these are the strikes. Out of these two strikes are the error and these three strikes are happening. So I have just filtered out all in the money call options. 
and previous cases i have just filtered out the all out of money call options so this is what i have done so i am just just because of this conditions it is filtering me in the money options at the money options and out of money options so this is the equal condition is also giving you the at the money option so greater than 9875 so if it is 9850 then also you'll get 9850 strike so it is giving you in the money options at the money options so what's that suppose you got all the out of money options greater than equal to 9875 is the current nifty so you got all these tradable options but all are not trade or the options so all strikes all out of money options you got above 9875 but all are not trade or the options so all are not trade or the options so you need to further filter it down suppose i want to buy the call options in uptrend so the strikes which will be more feasible in the uptrend means i want the strikes between this 9891 my targets of 9840 so if i just analyze here so i again filter out specific specific strikes here so in my uptrend which are the strikes which can give me so these are the strikes is again filtered out to give you the calls strikes which you can buy in the uptrend so and if you are using this table how can you how can you trade in this so currently say 9900 call option it is at 120 you can buy at 126 if a stop loss of 150 and these are your targets so these are your targets so so this targets what is being given to you these are the intraday targets these are the intraday targets for the for the nifty so this is the intraday targets for the nifty and this is how it should be. so it has further further filtered out the strikes which you can buy in the uptrend now call option to sell in the downtrend so your downtrend start at 9874 level currently you are at 9875 level so which are the strikes if you can wish to sell you can sell it in the downtrend so if you just call to sell in the downtrend so there is not much difference here it is just giving you the same strikes which you can sell it on the downtrend so it is filtering filtering out the strikes of call options which is most appropriate at this time to buy or sell based on its trend breakout so now same way you can go to the put options you can say the put options those who are between the buy entry and targets so so these are the buy entry and the target 9900 10005 between this how many put strikes put options are there or you can buy buy entry and targets between that you have you have filtered it out strikes between the sell entry and the targets that also you can filter at filter it out so that means our sell entry it is at 986 point and targets is 9760 final target between this range how many strikes are there so this two strikes if the downtrend breakout given now it is 9875 and if it is coming to 9865 level then i can think of buying this two strike options which will be much much profitable at that particular time so this is how also you can do in the call option suppose you have selected a call option between and you can say buy entry and target so these are the if uptrend breakout given so 9891 above and 9943 below how many strikes are there only one strike i am getting so if the uptrend breakout given 9891 so i can think of buying 9900 call option and i should buy at 126 range and my stop loss will be 115 rupees and the targets for this uptrend move also can get and if i just want to sell a strike call options in the downtrend so i need the strikes between the sell entry and targets that also i can get it 9850 call option so once the currently it is at 9873 98 9875 level 75 level the future is it ready so if the downtrend breakout given me 9874 level i can think of selling 9850 call option so i need a strike which is in the range of sell entry and target set so i got only one strike so similar way we have also given 
many other options so here you are getting that greater than options less than options you got between the between the buy entry and targets so here also we have given best weekly fall option to buy in the market so once you analyze you will get weekly trend levels are set in this order taking the reference current current reference of 9875 9875 this is the current reference of nifty future so these two strikes are eligible for weekly buy entry same way if you just want to see the best strike strike uh, best strikes to sell in the downtrend that also you can get three strikes one more strikes you are getting here so best weekly put options to buy once you have to select put here you have to between option best weekly put option to buy in the downtrend so these are the strikes is filtered out and best weekly put option to sell in the uptrend so this is also being filtered out so once the uptrend breakout given which put option strike you should sell for weekly gain and once you are selling any of this option suppose this is the weekly sales and now currently at 9875 once it is giving you 9930 above breakout so 9 so say 9950 put option currently at 167 range so that time it will be available at 145 range you can sell it out keep a stop loss at 190 190.57 and these are your targets first target 133 123 115 so these are the targets for the if uptrend breakout given so out of all these four strikes any one strike you can choose for selling with a proper stop loss you can utilize this particular 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 filtering mechanism to form good strategies also say currently we have taken this one and we are now 9875 range so 9875 range we are cutting down so say we are giving a downtrend breakout downtrend breakout is 9835 range so downtrend breakout is 987 so i am just going for the put option side say put options to buy in the downtrend so currently at 9875 and once it is coming to 9835 level, my downtrend starts. And these are the strikes are qualifying for the buying at that particular time. So you can utilize this particular strikes to form a strategy. For example, once this particular breakout has been given and I am buying this, you can say currently the 9800 put of sum is at 99. Range. that time it will be available at 116 rupees right i am buying say 9800 put of sun put of sun i am buying at 116 once the downtrend is given same time if i can sell some 9600 put of sun put of sun at that time it will be available at 61 rupees so this is i have bought and this i am selling so by this process i have just formed a just for my beer spread so i reduced my capital requirement 61 as 5 and here also 11 6 as so 5 so 55 rupees instead of 116 points risk i have taken 55 points risk. imagine i have achieved the target 3 target 4 so target 7 i am achieving so here my 116 rupees what i have bought that will be trading at 257 rupees 257 rupees and the 61 rupees what i have sold it will be cut trading at 154 rupees so if i just take the difference here 74 as 3 55 as 0 and 21 as 1 so i have taken a risk of 55 points and on target 7 i just achieved the difference spread has gone to 103 so if i can just take a difference so 8 and here 95 as 4 so 48 rupees of profit i are imagine it has gone against me and it has gone to the buy end so here my stop loss of 99303 so i am at now currently 9875 sell entry not given buy entry not given sell entry given i entered with a spread trade 9800 put buy 9600 put sell so end to end strikes i have chosen and just to take a spread a trade of 55 point i achieved if the target 7 achieves i will be getting 48 point profit say it has not achieved the target 7 rather it has hit the stop loss so the corruption which i have bought at 116 it will be at 84 
so 116 I bought so it is at 84 so here if I can just negative this one so 2 so here 3 so 31 points I lost in the columns and I bought so the columns and what put options what I sold so the put options what I bought with that 32 rupees I 32 rupees I lost say here I have also sold a put option at 61 so that will be available at 42 so here so 19 rupees I am gaining from that put option what I sold so if I just take it the difference so 3 2 1 as 1 so 13 rupees I lost so while forming this strategy itself I can know at the stop loss point how much I am going to lose at the target points how much I am going to win so I can easily make out the risk reward profiling here so it says that so 1 is to 3 risk reward so 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 1 is to 4 almost uh, risk reward or 1 is to 3.5 risk reward is there so I can utilize this filtering mechanism to identify the strikes and form different combinational strategies to know so how much reward it is giving me on the target points and different target points and how much loss it is giving me on the stop loss point. So these are also benefits you can get by using this particular tool. So multiple benefits you can derive out of this particular tool. So this not only scans the call option, put option based on specific parameter, it also gives you the idea how to form a option strategy, simple option strategies and their payoff informations. And using this particular information, you can form wonderful option strategies. So this is the feature of the option scanner, which is currently available in our Smart IT all-in-one.